Hey everyone and welcome to Wetcode, where in this video we're going to learn how to add modules like RTMP and Lua to Nginx using the official Nginx Docker image. So if we spin up the official Nginx image, we can see the modules that are already installed inside the folder etc Nginx and modules. So right here i am executed a bash shell against the Nginx container of the official Nginx image and we can see all the Nginx modules that are installed. So we can see like the HTTP module, stream module, and things like this. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add the RTMP module. And if you're curious, RTMP stands for Real-Time Messaging Protocol, and is a protocol that allows for streaming video and audio. And so there's packages for Nginx that allow us to do this. But so, lucky for us, the developers of the official Nginx image made it very easy to install third-party modules. Specifically, we can install them through something called PKG OSS, which is a tool that allows us to create, install, and upgrade third-party modules for Nginx. And this is all handled for us inside a Docker file, which is provided at the following URL. So let me just open a text file, and it's this URL, which I can post in a link for in the description, but this right here contains a link to a Docker file, which is this right here, for the GitHub of the official Nginx Docker image that allows us to add third-party modules. So essentially what we need to do is just download this file, and then we provide build arguments, specifically one called enabled modules, let me zoom in a bit, called enabled modules right here, that will, that will tell this Docker file to install these modules when we build an image. And this will make sense when I show it in action. So what we wanna do is inside a terminal, we can run curl-o, and then say Docker file, and then paste in this URL, and what this will do is it will download the Docker file so we can see it all right here. And the important part is this argument for enabled modules. So what we basically need to do is just build a Docker image and provide this argument. So we do Docker build, specify a build argument, and then enabled underscore modules. And we set that equal to RTMP. And then let's just name this image what we want. So I'm gonna do dash T Nginx RTMPI. And I believe we, I forgot to provide the Docker file, so provide it right here. And now we can see here from this list that what it is doing is essentially installing our modules. So it's gonna be installing RTMP, and we'll see this when we run, create a container from it, list out the modules. But this right here, so build arguments are passed to Docker at build time, and they essentially allow us to customize the build. And this enabled modules argument is used to specify which modules to enable in the Nginx image. So what we essentially did is we created an Nginx image with the RTMP module. And so now that it's done building that image, if we create, say, a container from it, so let's have it running here. Now let's go into a terminal and let's execute a cell shell against this. I called it Nginx RTMPC. And if we list out our etc dash Nginx dash modules, and we look in here, we can see we have now installed the RTMP module. So because we specified that as a build argument, we now have that installed. But that's all it takes to install modules for the Nginx image. You can also install multiple. So say you wanted to install uh, not just RTMP, but also say NDK and Lua, you would just specify it like this. So you just have spaces and it would install all of those. But yeah, this, so this is all it takes. If you like this video, please consider downloading my Chrome extension called Witceptor, link in the description. I'll leave me a good review on it in the Chrome web store. But besides that, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.